We live, baby! guys welcome to my channel if it is your first time joining me welcome my name is Atita Zipele Lindivane I am si okay I'm almost 60 yeah and I'm a youtuber anyways so in today's video I asked my followers to give me their dilemmas not really dilemmas but like what's happened to them in the past with their friendships like okay let me read the exact thing i posted this thing will focus and and let me tell you some you niggas be going through the most bruh anyways so let's get into this video because i'm talking a whole lot of crap so let's start um i'll start with like a little tiny one it's not bad um, okay, it is bad. All of these are. <laughs> um, she entertained and went for someone I liked and had a genuine connection with. <laughs> Guys, let me tell you something about girls. Hey! Just nothing! Mm -mm, I don't like them niggas. Sometimes I love being friends with you guys, but like, sometimes I really don't. Like, wow girls are so weird and boys but like girls bruh i had a connection with, but you know and then you go for him for no i almost know mas you know him because of who me people are so weird guys but with that i just feel like she cut her off because I have gotten to points in my life where I've realized, okay, not points in my life, why am I acting like I've been through the most? <laughs> um, basically, I just feel like if someone in your life is acting hella weird when you have a gent, cut them off because you're always going to have a gent. Are you not going to get married one day? Do you think they're going to act weird with that nigga too? Because clearly there's something that they feel from you it's like a one-up thing like or some type of competition in their head like something <laughs> okay now next one they would constantly make rumors and try to turn my friends against me always that's really that's brazy like what do you want from me? Why are you turning everyone against me? Did I do something wrong? I just feel like with people like that, they genuinely have um, insecurities. Like something in there is bad. Because like, what's wrong with you? Why are you turning everyone against me? Why are you saying things about me that are literally not true? Why? Why? Hey, why? Anyways, shit. Want some gum? Huh? You want? <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> I never read this one. He kept smashing my exes till one got pregnant, but at least I hit first. Okay! This, boys have better drama. Because, like, your friend got your ex pregnant. But that's very weird. But honestly, sometimes, let me, let me just speak my mind here. I just feel like guys are a bit, a bit worse than girls. We're upfront with it. We do it like we are there. Okay, not we. <laughs> no, I'm not there. But I'm just saying, us as a whole, majority, we are gonna do it like we'll show you. Boys are very like secretive with that thing. Like, have you ever seen a boy like they trying to like get a girl and they're literally like trying to bash the other nigga and it's like excuse me ain't that your friend sir bruh nah boys are very weird but do they a boys 
Please DM me. I don't know when that was. I don't. This is business. This one is quite long. So my cousin and I dated the same gent, but I was first. Oh well, no. Mhm. Mm we read that together. Okay. This gent and I were dating, and it lasted for a very long time to the to the point where I introduced him to my cousins and etc. But here's the thing, my cousin, let's call her BT, and my boyfriend were in the same school, so they knew each other very well. So whenever we were all together, I could tell, hi man, these people are really close because they were busy making eye contact and etc. But I missed it because Kibari. Two months down the line, I found out that he broke her virginity at a party. Siatela. Singashon. There, after we broke up, this hun went for him. I said to her, she should cut her cousin off because, okay, obviously cut the nigga off. That's that's standard procedure, but you know, but like the cousin girl, you know this my nigga. You guys went to same school, cool. Maybe you guys met each other. That's fine, but like that's my nigga, and. You doing that shit? <laughs> you had some experience. No. Guys, a whole intercourse with you. Ooh, yeah. Mm. Intercourse with you. Relations. They did that whole thing. And <laughs> it ain't like it's like this her second rodeo. Like she she this was her first rodeo. She she went to the rodeo and she raged, okay, for the first time. Guys, I don't know what I can I do with myself because hey, uh -uh. nope. Anyways, next one. Oh yeah, I was saying basically she should cut off her cousin because as I said before, niggas are always gonna be in your life and I, it's a bit sad that relationships, friendships, family relations can end because of a male and some type of jealousy or any type of weird infatuation that someone has with you and you have to end that because they're crazy you are being weird oh oh yeah we spoke um quite a bit yeah um she said that they stopped talking like her and her cousin like it's awkward at family gatherings because bro you had like, as long as he's not in my life anymore, excuse me, you still did that. It's very weird, you know? Like, you were fully aware. No one can say, oh, dog, I was on cocaine that day and I don't know, it was crazy. Two plus two equals six. And let me tell you why it equals six. Because look at this. There are two twos. So, therefore, there is an additional two that no one talks about because the government... Look at me. The government wants to keep you under. The government wants to keep you dumb. Anyways, this. This. Quite long. Anyways. Hi. So back in primary school, grade 7, I had a group of friends. Okay, let me tell you about something. Let me tell you something about this girl. She did it like. Let's name her. She said, I'm exposing all of you niggas. <laughs> she was like, I don't care. You you did me dirty, all of you. So who gives a fuck? I don't like cool. That's that's you. That's fine to me. <laughs> you know. So anyways, so back in primary school, grade seven, I had a group of friends, and there was this one girl called Alu, and she was dating Tina. So Mbali, who was a part of our group, told Alu to break up with Tina, and Alu did just that. Weak nigga, very weak. Very weak. Way out of pocket. What do you gain from that? I'm seeing Bali hang out with Tino and this became an everyday thing and the whole school was talking about it. Including our friends and I got disgusted of her hypocritical behavior so I went to her and told her um, like she spoke her mind basically. I was a bit rude but really I was defending my friend here and I wasn't bashing Bali. I was, I just pointed out her mistakes which was the worst mistake because Bali cried and the whole grade 7 the whole of grade 7 hated me for making vid Bali Khan. Next thing I seen Bali and Alu hugging and giggling with all our friends and they said they couldn't be friends with me 
because I spoke smack about Bali. It really be your own people. What surprised me was that I heard all this from Bali's best friend. Called her all sorts of degrading names and I never did that. Instead, I went to Bali and told her how I felt about it and how everyone would perceive it. So yeah, they kicked me out of the group and Bali has hated me since the day. Thank God we're in different high schools. Me and Ali go to the same high school and we just civil with one another. I have one close friend and she had her own drama including herself, her ex-boyfriend and Ali. <laughs> I just won't get up because it's not my business nor my place. I know so it's very long, nothing but success with your channel. Thank you. Yeah, like okay, it it's it gets to a certain extent because you want to defend your friend because that's your friend, obviously. Everyone defend their friend. So it's kind of a hard thing for me to tell you. Like, don't. I would feel a bit weird if my friend wasn't like defending me but also like just don't go to her because like screw you know just like mm. but i'm glad that she learned now but let me not do that you know so oh, every day. You heard my husband. In the shoes, gotta keep the belief. But I'm just not there. But anyways, if you've made it to the end of this video, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.